How to knit the three needle bind off, English style. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles. Special thanks to our sponsor Scassell for providing today's needles. Today we are using their Addy Natura double pointed needles in size eight. A third knitting needle and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Lion Cotton Line in the color Seafoam. The three needle bind off is a variation of the traditional uh, knitted bind off or purled bind off and what it does is it creates this really durable seam um, when you're connecting two pieces of fabric. So it's going to make it really strong um, and it's great for uh, making purses, um, you can do it to make blankets if you like, but what most people use it for is doing seams in sweaters where you need to have a lot of durability like in the shoulder and so it creates a, a kind of a a nice little integrated seam there and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Step one, take your two pieces of fabric and here we've just got some test swatches and you're going to take the right sides of the fabric and for the stock net swatch the right side will be the knit side and we want them to face each other. Okay, and we're going to hold them together with the stitches lining up. Now for the three needle bind off, you're almost always going to want to have an equal number of stitches on both needles. Now, you can fudge it a little bit if you need to knit two together as you go along, say for a shoulder seam that you got off on accident, but it's going to look best if you have an e equal number of stitches on both needles. Step two, we're going to take a third needle and we're going to insert it into the first needle that is facing us knit wise. So we're just going to go right through that first stitch like normal. Now for step three, we're going to go through the second stitch or our second needle through the first stitch knit wise as well. Step four, we're going to wrap our working yarn around our new working needle, the, the third needle that we're working with here. And step five, we're going to pull the stitch through both stitches on our needles there. Okay, as if they're one stitch and then Step six, we will pull the stitches off together. Okay, so we're going to do this one more time, um, and that will be our second stitch. And where we can start the actual bind off part. So we drop those stitches off. So we're going to call this next part step seven. And all we're going to do is we're going to take the first stitch and slip it over the second stitch on our uh, new working needle here. Okay, so let's do that one more time. We're going to insert our working needle into the first stitch and the second needle sti first stitch at the same time wrap the yarn and pull it through both drop those stitches together and then we're going to slip this first stitch over the second stitch okay and we'll con continue doing that until the end of the row now when you've reached the last stitch in the row we're going to slip the second stitch over the first stitch and then what we'll do is we'll cut our working yarn and we'll just pull that through both stitches okay and then you can weave that in on the wrong side and that's how you do the three needle bind off Want more New Stitch Day? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.